Bienvenido a otro video del Colegio Boston. No olvides suscribirte, activar la campanita, darle like y compartir. Hello guys, how are you? I hope that you and your family are okay. And well, today we are going to talk about comparatives. Okay? First of all, we need to know that comparatives they need to use adjectives okay if you remember in previous lessons or in previous videos we saw some adjectives okay but first we need to remember what is an adjective and what is the use of an adjective okay so for that reason an adjective is going to describe people okay if you want to describe your mom your friend your boyfriend your girlfriend you can use an adjective you can use adjectives to describe objects or to describe things okay for example a car your house um, a flower could be also, you can use adjectives to describe animals, your cat, your dog, okay? And remember that also we can use adjectives to describe places, for example, Cancun, okay? Now, how are you going to use it? Remember that when we use adjectives, the adjective is going to go before the noun. It's the opposite as in Spanish, okay? First, we need to say the blue car. First, I need to mention the adjective, okay, or the color. And then we are going to use, or we are going to describe the animal, we are going to say the animal, the person, or the object, okay? For example, a new house. I am describing the house, and I am using the adjective new, okay? Well, in English, we have some um, adjectives that we are going to check in this moment, okay? First, these are some adjectives that you already know okay but you are going to repeat after me okay first tall repeat after me tall perfect who do you know that is tall yes me i am tall are you tall perfect now short repeat after me short excellent and remember tall and short they are opposite okay for example i am tall i am not short okay now repeat after me nice nice very good excellent next Fat. Repeat after me. Fat. Very good. Next one. Big. Big. Repeat. Excellent. Very good. Can you mention an animal that is big? Okay. Elephant. An elephant is very big. What else? Okay, a whale. A whale is an animal that is big. Very good, excellent. Thin, repeat after me. Thin, very good. Do you recognize the opposite of thin? Excellent, fat, very good. Fat and thin are opposite. Very good. 
Let's continue. Happy. Repeat after me. Happy. Very good. Next. Heavy. Repeat. Heavy. Very good. Finally, we have funny. Repeat after me. Funny. Very good. Excellent. So, of course, we have more adjectives. Okay? These are some adjectives that we are going to be using during this topic. Okay? Remember that we are talking about comparatives. Okay? Now, what is a comparative adjective? A comparative adjective is going to be used when I want to compare to objects, to people, to places, or to animals. But remember that we only compare to. Okay? I'm going to explain a bit more in a minute. Okay? First, we need to check what is going to happen to the adjectives when we make them comparative, okay? Let's check first the division of the adjectives. We need to divide the adjective in two, short adjectives and long adjectives, okay? Today, we are going to talk about short adjectives. What is a short adjective? A short adjective is an adjective that has only one syllable, okay? In English, one syllable is one sound, okay? For example, tall. How many sounds do you listen? Tall, just one. So tall is considered an adjective that is short, okay? Then we have short. How many sounds do you listen? Short, one. Short is a short adjective as well, okay? Now, nice. How many syllables or how many sounds can you hear? Nice. One. Okay? So these are some examples of short adjectives. Exactly. Okay? In a different video, we are going to check the rules for the long adjectives, okay? But not today. Today, we need to concentrate on the short adjectives, okay? Now, when we talk about short adjectives, we have some, like, some divisions, okay? First, we are going to check that in short adjectives, as I told you before, they are, or they have only one syllable, one sound, okay? And the examples are tall, short, nice, okay? Now, still, when we are talking about the short adjectives, we have some, some adjectives that are short, but they are special, okay? Or they have a specific characteristic. For example, fat, big, 
and thin. Why are they different? Because they have a one vowel, okay? And one final consonant, okay? For example, fat. The T is a consonant and the A is a vowel. Excellent. So keep this is something special. Okay? In a minute I will explain why. Big, the same case. The G is a perfect. That is a consonant. And the I is a vowel. Perfect. Excellent. So we are good in that part. Thin. The same. Here the N is a consonant. And the I is a vowel. Very good. Okay. Now, in this section, we have here three adjectives that they don't have one syllable, but they are going to follow the rule. There are some exceptions, okay? Now, happy, two syllables. Heavy, two syllables. Funny, two syllables, okay? So they are adjectives, but they have something in common. What do you think they have in common? Yes, they finish or they end in Y. Excellent. So they are adjectives ending in Y with two syllables. Okay? Remember. Now, when I am using these adjectives, short adjectives, an adjective ending in Y, I need to, here, I need to add ER if I want to make a comparative, okay? For example, the comparative of tall is taller. I need to add the ER, okay? Short. The comparative of the adjective short is shorter. Okay? Nice. As you can see, nice has an E. So what I have to do is that I need to add the R. And that's it. Okay? Nicer. This is the comparative. Fat, fatter, thin, I told you that these three are different because here they finish with consonant and vowel. So here the last consonant is going to go twice, okay, two times. I need to repeat the last consonant. The last consonant is T. So I need to double the T. You see? You need to duplicate and write ER. Big, the same example. Bigger, okay? The last consonant is G and you need to duplicate the G. Bigger. Thin, thinner. The same example. You need to double the last consonant, okay? Now, what happened with the adjectives ending in Y, okay? Happy, happier. What happened here? The I is going to be changed for the I, and then I need to add ER. Okay? The same is going to happen with heavy. Heavier. Do you see the difference? 
for me for near okay so these are the these are the comparatives okay but this is very important these are adjectives and when they finish with er they are comparatives okay now let's repeat the comparative taller repeat after me taller excellent shorter repeat after me shorter very good nicer repeat nicer excellent Father, repeat. Father, very good. Bigger, repeat. Bigger, excellent. Thinner, repeat. Thinner, good. Happier, repeat. Happier. Excellent. Heavier. Repeat. Heavier. Excellent. Finally. Fonier. Repeat. Fonier. Excellent, guys. Very good. So, those are the comparatives. Okay? Now, we have a formula or we have a structure to use the comparative, okay? Do you remember when do we use a comparative? Yes, when I want to compare one object and the other, or two people, okay? Now, in this case, the formula is really simple, okay? First, as you see, you need to compare to the object one or the person number one and the object two or the person number two, okay? So in this case, we need to use the object one, okay? Remember, it can be a person, an animal, a place, okay, or an object. I need to use the verb to be. Do you remember the verb to be? Yes. Am, um, is, are. Remember that the verb to be is going to depend on the person or the object that you are using here. Okay? This is very important. When you have the, the verb to be, you need the Comparative. Remember that these are your comparatives, okay? Then we need to include the word than. This is really important. Every time that you are comparing two things, you need to include than, okay? And finally, at the end, you need to include or you need to mention the object number two, okay? Now, in this case, I have this example. I am taller than my mom, okay? So here you can see object one, I in this case, and the object two is my mom. The verb to be is according to, to me, okay? So, I am taller, this is the comparative, taller, and the word than, okay? Now, now that you know the structure, we have a family here, a very famous family, okay? We are going to compare some people in this family. Okay, 
So here we have Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie, okay? So I'm pretty sure that you know this family, the Simpsons, okay? Now, as you can see, we have three sentences, okay? And we have older, younger, or shorter. Can you help me here to complete the sentences? Okay? So here we have Maggie is than Lisa. What do you think? Older, younger, or shorter? What do you think? Maggie, okay, her, Maggie is than Lisa, older, no, younger, yes, because Maggie is a baby, okay, Maggie is younger than Lisa, now, number two, Bart is Older or shorter than Homer? What do you think? Yes, very good. Bart is shorter than Homer. Very good. Finally, March is older than Lisa, because remember that March is the mom, okay? Well, I hope that, again guys, that you are okay, and that this topic is easy for you, and remember that if you have questions, you can send us an email, or you can contact us through the um, extra classes that we have in Zoom, okay? So I hope that you are okay, that you and your family are doing well, and I hope to see you really soon.